today I'm going to do some beach waves and they're going to be, uh, I'm going to do my, my real hair first and then at the end I'm going to add some extensions. So what you're going to need, a uh, comb to come out your hair, clip for your extra hair. I am using a tapered curling iron and a flat iron for the ends of my hair. Now to do the beachy waves, if you have naturally straight hair you won't need the flat iron. I'm just using it to straighten out my ends because they're kind of um, fuzzy because they have wavy hair. So, alright, I'm going to start out by clipping up the extra hair. I like this technique because it's really fast because I'm not clipping up my hair at the ends. You're going to start out by flat ironing the bottom three inches. And then taking that hair, dividing it into two sections, each section about an inch wide. Above where you just flat iron, so you're not putting too much heat on the same section of hair. Curl it 10 seconds about, and let it fall out. Same thing on this side. Okay, so again, this section is off. I don't mind flat ironing it all at, at once, but I to curl it, I want the curls to be really defined. So I'm going to do those in tinier sections. If you have straight hair, this is a really good way to give it body. everything away from my face. That way it's, it really slums out your face and all the curls go away from it. This actually might be too big. Whenever I try to rush and I do bigger sections, I always end up spending more time because I have to recurl those pieces because I hate how they look. I'm going to flat iron my bangs a little bit. My poor bangs take a beating with that flat iron. They're the only thing that I use heat, I heat style almost every day. I kind of feel bad for them when they get fried. And also the ends. This is it looks really ropey at first, but at by blah 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 blah. What I was saying was, it looks really ropey at first, but then as the as it settles, you'll see like the ends kind of 
are nice and smooth, the curls really loosen up because we're not clipping them to curl, so they get really, really loose. So the ends are like perfectly, it goes like well together. It doesn't look crazy. Right now it looks a little bit crazy. It will, I swear. I like to keep the curl a little bit lower around my face. There we go. Alright, so, tease it up, mess it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of hairspray, a little bit of Elmet underneath there to give it some volume. So this is the look. That's the look without extensions. And like I said, it really loosens up over the night. And the ends won't look as ropey. And now I'm going to add in the extensions so you can see what that looks like. So my extensions, I pre-curled them just to save time. I'm going to start right about here. Mm, a little bit lower. Put those curls up. I like to add a little bit of hairspray where I'm going to add my extensions. It gives it a little grip. Usually I do it with dry shampoo. I've just been using dry shampoo so much lately. I've gotten like sick of the smell. <laughs> do you know what I mean? One more time. Sometimes I get my extensions mixed up. There we go. Final one. I curled my extensions the same way I curled my hair. That same technique. All right. So there we go. Here's the final look. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope this helps.